Oh man, tough one, a tough one, a tough loss at the Garden. New York Knicks fall short to the Chicago Bulls, man. It, it was a brutal, brutal loss. I'm not devastated, but I'm I'm, I'm not feeling good, man. I, I I know we'll get into a lot of this, but um, two missed free throws. You know, we felt like we had a pretty good go of it. A little bit of lack of execution down the stretch. Um, it's a it's a tough loss. The sky is not falling, but this one definitely hurts. Yeah, th- this one, this one definitely hurt. Like you know, it was a back and forth battle. It, it, it felt like I mean I think the Knicks' biggest lead was maybe what seven eight points, you know. So, but for the most part, it, it was a back and forth battle throughout the whole game. And uh, like I said, it didn't. <laughs> it uh, both teams shot what fifty. Oh, you know, Chicago shooting close to fifty percent. We shot over fifty percent. You know, everyone everyone was hitting their threes. Felt like both. One of the, you know, we did not capitalize on free throws, free throws. And, you know, it, it, it takes away from RJ's absolutely magnificent game. He absolutely just, it, it, to me, it was, I think it's his best game as a pro. Because it, at it, all three levels, RJ was on. Like, he was in his bag. And it's something we've been waiting to see, like, a, a, and, you know, with his game. And we got that, but it just couldn't hit free throws, Jeff couldn't hit free throws it, it's it, man it, it's it spoils a special game from him that we just couldn't capitalize on hitting free throws and and uh just couldn't get the job done man tough this one's gonna hurt chris i was uh, you know if we managed to pull this game out um i was gonna start you know after you did your intro i was gonna start off with listen all the rj haters you got to get your apology forms out you got to make sure <laughs> yeah. you sign him clearly. Um, he was he was special tonight. Uh, I thought the dunk that he had on Vucevic, which you know precluded like the weirdest challenge I've ever seen in an NBA basketball game that was successful but unsuccessful at the same time. Um, I thought that was a signature moment for him. I look, I think back to last season when he hits the game winner uh, in the Garden against Boston. The dunk that he had on Vucevic, you know, I'm watching the game on TV and I can hear the roar of the gra- of the garden crowd and everyone is super pumped up, amped up. You know, the thing that I loved about RJ tonight was I love the way he processed the game. When he got the ball on the wing, I didn't feel like they were wasted movements. I thought yep. he knew exactly where he wanted to attack. Mm-hmm. He knew that if he got his defender off balance, where to go, what side, left or right. He's thinking in his head, okay, where's Mitch? Is Mitch open for a lob? Okay, if Mitch is not open for a lob and I have a couple of defenders in front of me, is Quentin open for three on the wing? Um, you know, what side am I going to try to attack the hoop on and drive and finish at the rim? I thought he was just really superb in every as- asset of his offensive game. He absorbed contact really well. Uh, there, was just a different, there was just a different feeling about him. Uh, and it's just really unfortunate that we couldn't pull out the win because I thought this this was going to go a long way towards maybe understanding what R.J. Barrett we're going to get for this season, but also maybe us buying more into, you know, the future of R.J. Barrett. You know, he's been such a polarizing player for this yes. fan base. Everyone on Twitter, depending on the game, you know, win or loss, listen, ah, uh, He's a good third player on a really good team. Yeah. Not worth the third pick. Some days it's like RJ is him. You know what I mean? Like so, it's it's just it's rough. I, it doesn't take away from what he did, um, but you could certainly feel that if we were able to pull this out, the narrative would change a little bit for sure. I can't. I can't lie, man. I'm not mad at the Knicks, man. Like. As a person who played basketball, you miss free throws when you're tired, bro. We just came off an A game. You know, we're tired out there. I'm not going to chew people head off, bro. Mm -hmm. And not a lot of normal people can make free throws from a regulation free throw line. So I don't know why people are complaining about that. (laughs) Another thing is... We saw that with the video after. There's a lot of people who need need help on that free throw technique. That's exactly (laughs) why I said it. And... I'm not even going to lie, bro. I'm disappointed in Mitchie. Mitchie, let me tell you something about Mitchie, all right? Mm-hmm. Mitchie, he's a guy, bro. 
they're not looking for him. I know he ain't hit his mark today, but the Knicks don't look for their big men, man. The Knicks is the only team I see in the NBA that don't look for their big man. Their big man never score. I know I got to be rapid fire. Manscaped, shout out Manscaped. I average zero turnovers because of Manscaped. And um, no more action. I'm going to see you guys, man. Happy holidays, man. Shout out to Knicks Fans TV, man. I'm just <laughs> disappointed. Appreciate. Happy holidays, mm-hmm. Cody. Happy holidays, man. Appreciate the call. Um, and I think it's the turnovers that we've had this, uh, these last, especially these last two games. Um, we had 16 against the Raptors, and we had 10 tonight, which if you combine both of the games that the amount of turnovers have happened in both those, that's 18 combined possessions more for the other team. Now, mm-hmm. in basketball, it may not seem like that much, but trust me, it's a lot when you're actually playing the sport. You know, it's a max of 54 more points the other team could score in both of those games. And on top of that, like you said, if we knock down our free throws more, we win both of those games, it's easy. And this is, like, not really much of a cause of concern for me. To be honest, this is easily correctable, and all Tibbs needs to do is just get them in the gym for a light practice or shoot around, just get them to knock down some free throws and work on the turnovers and stuff like that. So, yeah, that was pretty much it. That's all I got. Yeah, yeah, appreciate it. Awesome. Yeah, and, and Bulls were able to get uh, 14 points off turnovers today, um, which, you know, and we only had six, uh, I believe, right? I think we had six, um, you know, uh, right. I think so. Let me see. We had, yeah, six off turnovers and all that. But Chicago didn't really turn the ball over. They played they played a crisp game. They played a crisp game. We didn't, we didn't really pressure them enough and all that. So, you know, those are, uh, you know, uh, the turnovers are not. It, it, but it's also, you know, when the turnovers occur, too. You know, we lost two games, you know, because, you know, one guy had 52 points and, and uh, you know, DeRozan did some voodoo to Jalen Bronson. So think about that, you know, not all doom and gloom in New York. You know, there's still, um, it could be worse. Let's just say that <laughs> it, it, it could be a lot worse. So, uh, like I said, uh, appreciate everyone. And uh, like I said, it, it's a great show. Um, like I said, again, be safe, guys. Be well. Take care, guys. Peace out.